in today's video, we're going to be talking about Eminem and his diss towards Aaliyah. Now, I just found this out that he had dissed Aaliyah a few days ago. And I was very shocked because you don't think that someone would diss sweet Aaliyah. You never know how she was truly behind cameras, but what we got was a sweet girl. And to hear that you had Eminem dissing her is really crazy. But also, I hope you guys enjoy these edits that I made of Aaliyah. I want to get back into making edits of her. Um, so if you would like to see edits that I make for Aaliyah, go follow my Instagram at Aaliyah Black and White. And also, I want to share a few rare pictures with you guys that was posted on Instagram of Aaliyah. Now, you know me. I love rare pictures of Aaliyah. Here's one of them. This is, I'm pretty sure, from 1996 or 7. But I just love this picture. Like, it's just so normal and so simple. Now, this is not a rare picture of Aaliyah, but I find it hard to find great quality photos of her, especially the ones I like. And I really love this picture of Aaliyah. I love her hair, her shirt. Like, everything is just beautiful about it. I love her contacts and everything was perfect. Her complexion. I just really love Aaliyah so much. Now, this is an interview. I forgot what the interview was called, but it was during 2000. And it was a recently rare release of Aaliyah being interviewed. And I'm going to be reacting to it very soon. So stay tuned for that. Turn on your bell post notifications. But this is just a screenshot of her during that interview. Beautiful. Now, I'm not sure if I seen these pictures already and showed you guys. I feel like I have, but I'm going to share them again because I really love this photo. I love her outfit, her hair, and she was just so kind. And it's beautiful seeing her embracing her fans, taking the time to give them autographs and stuff because not all celebrities are like this. Here's another one. I just loved her frame. She was just every girl's dream, really look at her body i mean you could definitely tell she was working out before this event or something because she's toned this is how i'm trying to be and just to see her with twista is insane to me because he was a childhood artist for me i would always hear his music listen to his music and i have a lot of respect for him so to see her with him is crazy Here's another picture. Now, I would see bad quality photos of this event of her this day. But for them to release actual, like, great quality photos, dang near full body photos of this event is insane. Now, I'm not a fan of her outfit, but I'm really digging these photos. And she looks good in anything, so she makes it work. Here's another one. Her body, like body goals that's all i can really say and i love her glasses i want to find some that looks like these but Aaliyah was just goals i love seeing Aaliyah around other people because you can see her true size she was just so small i mean look at her legs you can tell that her legs are very small and those big old pants her midriff was just so petite and it was a saying that i think it came from timbaland or someone they said that she looked like she was 90 pounds and they also said she was very small here's another picture look at her body like i'll never stop mentioning her body in these photos her midriff is on point it's tight but she's just picture here with brandy as well and twista again now these photos are not in order clearly but Aaliyah was around a lot of greats little did she probably know and she would have been great herself Here's a picture of Aaliyah with the Braxton sisters. I love the Braxton sisters' outfits in this photo. I really want to get into dressing girly. The girls in the 90s just put me in that mood. Especially Aaliyah. Aaliyah's number one to me. I love her dearly. I love Aaliyah's dark lipstick that matches her outfit. Like, Aaliyah was a cool kid. To be around her had to be great. Here's another picture of Miss Aaliyah. I just love her so much. Like, words can explain. Here's another one. I love when she wore crop tops. Like, 
to see her figure it was definitely something to show off but here's another photo i would really like to see live footage from this day and to see what she was saying because i know she was up on stage talking with brandy so i would love to see how that went out and how the vibes were Here's a full body one. Just looking at her in these photos and how toned she was and in shape she was, it's really motivating me. And I really just like want to get out right now and go jog and try to get the body she had. I'm, I'm going to work on it. Y'all just wait. We finna start working on it. But Aaliyah was body gold. She is so beautiful. And it kind of reminds me of the outfit she had on during four page letter as well. They just released this one today, Tuesday, June 6, 2023, and she's so absolutely beautiful. And she was holding someone's hand during this day. I really want to know who it was, but yeah, this is from 2000. And just a couple of days ago, this one came out. This is 2001. Aaliyah in the Aaliyah bus uh, with her face all over her transportation. There was a second picture that came with this, but... It didn't have Aaliyah in it, so to me, it wasn't worth posting. I mean, it had a picture of her on the bus, but not of her. But just really pause this photo and look at it. She's beautiful. Like, you would think that she wouldn't be like a typical person, just how perfect she seemed. But she's just slunched over in the car. Her hair is beautiful. Aaliyah was just dope. That's, that's the best way to put it. That's all I can really say about Aaliyah. Anyways, that was it for all the photos. I'm pretty sure there are more. And there will be more so i will be sharing them with you guys in case you haven't seen them so stay tuned for that like i said turn on your bell post notifications make sure to subscribe and like all of these videos anyways let's get into why i'm actually making this video because when i was reading about this it just kind of upset me because Aaliyah just seems so sweet who would ever want to speak negative on her name about anything like what would you possibly have to say about Aaliyah? What? You know, she didn't give you a reason to have to say anything. So let's just get into what he said on one of his songs about Aaliyah. Now, if you made it this far, let me know down below if you have ever heard about this ever. Because I've never heard about this. I don't know where I've been, but I've never heard of it. Anyways, this information was released or... At least I saw it from Aaliyah Unleashed on Instagram. They usually post really good stuff and new release photos of Aaliyah. So they're pretty good. Anyways, they just captioned this photo. On this day, May 22nd, 2000, Eminem, Timbaland, Missy Elliott, and Aaliyah are photographed together at the Marshall Mathers LP album release party at Club 51 in New York did you know in 1999 eminem dissed Aaliyah and several other women in his diss track get you mad off his the slim shady lp which is a special edition bonus track the album was released february 23rd 1999 Aaliyah, who was 20 at the time eminem was 27 was not too happy about this track and rumor has it when she saw Eminem at the album release party in May 2000, she demanded an apology and Eminem apologized right then and there. Now this is the get you mad lyrics. Told Maya this SHIT was all about me. Gave Alyssa Milano syphilis, mono, and gonorrhea. And all three of my main girls said see ya. Cause Brandy and Monica walked in and caught me effing Aaliyah. Hmm. How rude was that? Now, I can't say that this is true, but I really highly doubt that any of this happened, especially the part with Aaliyah. And to even put someone's name in your mouth like that, and I don't just feel for Aaliyah, I feel for the other woman that he threw under the bus. Now, personally, I don't believe that Aaliyah was even into white men, not to offend anyone. I've personally never seen or heard any stories of her having dating a white man so for him to even speak that type of negativity and that level of disrespect on the sweetest person's name now when diane said that the people never breath the same air as her daughter i would understand her given this situation that happened because 
that is disrespectful. I mean, he is pictured with Aaliyah, but I'm pretty sure he did not get that close enough to even have the honors of touching her at all. Like, it really blew my mind because the level of disrespect towards her is really insane to me. And the way she handled the situation was amazing because it could have went two ways. It could have went the way it did or it could have went south. And to make matters even worse, he mentioned Monica, Brandy, and Aaliyah as if Brandy and Monica's record label weren't trying to get the three to beef as is. He wasn't helping the situation as well. Although Aaliyah was very mature, she looked the other way and did not fall for it. It still could have escalated. And he, amongst others, I'm sure, wasn't doing anything but instigating the situation and leave it to Aaliyah she went to confront him about the diss and demanded not even ask but demanded an apology from him face to face now that is next level stuff and it said that at the time she was 20 and he was 27 for a 27 year old to be dissing a 20 year old someone who's freshly in their 20s it doesn't make it any better that he is a man dissing a female i think that might be one of my pet peeves is when a man disses a female that is very unacceptable and it's very weak to me and it's not even in my eyes considered being a man i wonder how her family and her friends reacted to that i know she had to feel some type of way clearly because she demanded an apology face to face that is very strong of her i feel like another reason why it probably didn't happen what he was saying about Aaliyah in his song is because she wasn't afraid to go and talk to him about it or she wasn't embarrassed at all she went directly to him face to face and demanded a apology you know most girls would be salty they'll throw shade or they won't even say anything about it but Aaliyah no she wasn't finna have no dirt on her name because yeah no just no <laughs> and to make this story even more unbelievable it said that not only did Aaliyah attend but stepped to Eminem at his own party and demand an apology at his own party that's the next level of confidence our girl and people really ask us the real reason as to why we love her or they try to assume what is the real reason why we love her and it's just things like this that make you love her even more she was just so real and raw and she did not put up with anyone slandering her name and you know the saying i'm pretty sure we all heard it that if a guy is bullying you or is talking down on you basically he likes you and i'm pretty sure that was the case and he probably knew that he didn't have a chance um respectfully or maybe he tried and she respectfully turned him down like she did justin timberlake but i really love how she handled it and i'm sure 90 percent of us would not have handled it the way she handled it we probably would have responded i know i would have so to hear that she responded in this way it teaches me a lot. I learn a lot from Aaliyah and I try to correct my reactions to certain situations or to all situations because my reactions are not good and I will give you what you're looking for. So Aaliyah is teaching me to just be the bigger person, take control and approach with a more subtle reaction. But this was a really wild video. I never knew that Eminem dissed Aaliyah. I mean, I'm not even a fan of Eminem at all. and. I see it's for a reason. I just feel like I can see bullcrap from a mile away without even knowing who you are. I can sense a bad seed, but I knew it was the reason why I wasn't a fan of Eminem. I will never be a fan of Eminem, but let this situation teach you to respond more subtle and not always give a reaction to something. Aaliyah was truly a trendsetter in all aspects and I just really love her and although I wasn't born when she was alive, barely born when she passed away, but I miss her and I wish she was here. But anyways, that pretty much wraps it up for this insane video. Learn to be like Aaliyah because <laughs> she is all of what we all need. And like I said, not every 
situation needs a reaction to it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts about Eminem dissing Aaliyah back in the day and how you feel about it. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay crazy and be more like Aaliyah. Do you remember?